Well, we're inside of a hangar at uh, Ellington Airfield. This is near the Johnson Space Center, and this is where the astronaut announcement happened this morning. Jeremy Hansen taking to the stage there, along with the three crewmates that will be headed to the moon, a fly by the moon. Likely, we understand, at the earliest uh, November of next year, could be into 2025, but very exciting stuff. Uh, in behind me, you can see a mock-up of the Artemis capsule there. That is uh, something of what will the astronauts will be inside on their four-day journey to the moon. They'll then loop around the moon and then head back to Earth. Total uh, time of their mission, 10 days. There's some school kids here. They're getting ready to meet with the astronauts. And Jeremy Hansen is somebody who's very familiar to people here at NASA. He has been an astronaut since 2011. He's been waiting uh, since then for his first opportunity to go to space. And what an opportunity this will be to go to the moon. The first Canadian uh, to go past the moon. And only the, uh, the, the only Americans have ever gone to the moon. So this will be the first time any nation other than America has sent one of their astronauts past the moon. We are going to get a chance to talk to Jeremy Hansen a little later on, but uh, in behind me you can see uh, there's interviews going on uh, with some of the astronauts. We'll get a chance to talk to Jeremy Hansen and find out exactly when he knew he was picked to go on this mission. We found out today. I would love to know how long he's known about it and if he's looking at the moon a little differently now thinking, boy, I'm going to be headed up there. Uh, obviously, the Canadian Space Agency is hoping that this will be an inspirational moment for young people, people interested in maybe studying uh, science, technology, engineering, uh, the math, so, so STEM fields. And uh, so again, this mission will, will hopefully take place at the end of next year, if not 2025, and it is a stepping stone to landing astronauts on the moon later this decade. And the Canadian Space Agency says ultimately they would love to see at some point a Canadian astronaut also set foot on the moon.